Hello YouTube. Um, this will be sort of an overview of what you will need uh, for fly tying. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is something to hold your fly while you're tying it. So this one, it clips onto my desk really nicely and um, it's adjustable height and um, this can adjust for how thick of the desk you need. It's kind of like a C-clamp, but it holds your fly right here. There's a bunch of different types out there, but I chose this one because it's easy to use. And you just turn this handle, and if you can see that, it gets bigger. The opening right there. When I move, turn it to the left, it gets bigger. And when I turn it to the right, it gets tighter. Like that. So you can use it to secure your fly. So that's the first thing. The next thing you're going to need are some scissors. Some really sharp ones. That will be good for cutting fine material. And a second pair of scissors for cutting the thicker material. I have this in this little toolkit so these can cut the thicker material easily but the reason why you have two um, different types of scissors are because when you're cutting your thicker material it'll make uh, if you only used one pair then when you're cutting your thicker material it'll make them more dull so then um, it won't be as easy let's say to uh, cut your other material such as um, a little tiny bit of this rabbit fur or let's say some feathers or like well more like hackle and stuff if you're cutting off the hackle to make it even uh, so another thing you'll need are some tweezers for picking up little beads like this or hooks and it's always good to have a little thing like this where you can just move it over to select one little bead or um, hooks that you need or any other equipment that you can put in here I have two but mine aren't filled right now really so that's an another thing you'll need <coughs> um, one more thing another piece of equipment that you'll need is this a spot where you can put your finished flies mine isn't that great I just made it just a little bit ago it's just a bunch of little pieces of um, foam that you can just put your fly into and it'll stay there so that's pretty good. It's better to have a lid so that you don't prick anybody. Then you'll need uh, these. They're meant for um, grabbing uh, little pieces of things n near the hook or something that um, you can't grab with your fingers because it's too small or some or another reason that you need a pair of these. Um, pliers are good to have to pick up little things and keep them nice such as hooks picking up hooks it's always good in case you drop it and then you can just pick it up and then put it onto your spot that you need it um, it's always good to have some containers yogurt containers work <laughs> and just some containers to put it in a box works too nice one. Um, another thing you'll need is some red thread um, feed, a thread feeder and the way these are supposed to be set is so that you can pull the thread off nicely and it'll come smoothly um, and if you do this hang it like that it will hang nicely and it won't fall so that's perfectly set and if you need to change it, you just 
pop that out. And you can just bend these to match your liking or open them a bit, make it looser. So that's basically what you need to do. And to thread these, you can make a threader by using fishing line or something. But um, the other way is to wet this, the thread, a little at the tip. Then feed it through that hole, the hole of that. Can't get it because I'm looking at the camera. Okay, here we go. I got it. So there. And then you just keep pushing it through until it comes out the other side. Like so. we go through the other side sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it doesn't it's okay if it does um, but you know another thing you'll need is obviously thread black is basically the standard um, I have some colorful thread too right here it's kinda sparkly more than colorful and then I have another spool of black thread right there. So I'll just wind this back up and put it back into my little fly tying box. Another thing you'll need is a whiplash finish. And um, I'll do, do a tutorial on how to use this because I don't have a fly right now to do this on. It's basically to do the end knot. And um, that's... Uh, basically what that's used for is to do the end knot um, another thing a uh, really important thing that you'll need is sorry about that I was looking for it is some head cement so what you will do is you just pull it out for mine and then you can apply it nicely like this just squeeze and it'll come out others you just get the bottle and then you get a toothpick I threw this one out because mine went hard because I didn't use it for a long time so I'm th I threw this out but I just wanted I just grabbed it um, to show you guys See, got a little needle to keep it good it's not focusing in a, on this for some reason so that's basically what that's used for. And another thing you'll need is this little guy. It's basically a pin and it has many uses uh, as you'll see later on in some more videos to, for fly tying. So it's basically a pin with a handle. See. So, I hope you guys found this video useful, and um, it was good. So, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and um, if you need wanted a suggestion or any help, just uh, leave it in the comments section below, and um, don't forget to subscribe, I guess. Watch the next video for some more tutorials, and um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later.